Joining me now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence is a man that's going to be stepping back into the Bellator cage coming up on December the 16th. Bellator 169 as he takes on Anthony Taylor, James Gallagher. James, how's it going, man? Still great. I've never been better. How are you? I'm doing very good. Doing very good. Uh, you know, second fight in Bellator and you get to fight in Ireland. What's that just personally mean to you uh, to be able to fight in Ireland? It means everything. So it is. This is. This is a. Uh... This is my home, do you know what I mean? This is, this is my country, and, and if another nor person thinks they, 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 they can get in the way of me achieving my dreams in, in my home country, they're very stupid. Fighting uh, in the co-main event of this fight card in Ireland, um, do you feel any pressure, or do you just say, look, there's pressure uh, no matter uh, where I'm at in the fight card or, or where the fight is taking place? Yeah, well, why why should I feel pressure to do something that I love? What I love to do, do you know what I mean? I love to play. And that's it, you know what I mean? You don't mm-hmm. you don't see you, you, you don't get nervous to go into your job in the morning. So why should I get nervous to go and do, do my job or feel pressure to go and do my job? I get in there and do my job because I absolutely love it. You know what I mean? This is what I love to do and, and winning winning is what I love to do. So I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I, I don't feel pressure. I'm I'm excited. This is this is my show, and I'm excited to go on the display. When did you realize you loved MMA? Probably the first class I've ever done. I, I, I fell in love with the sport, but when I got to the, when I was like 15, I realized that this is this is all I want to do. I don't want to do nothing else. Mm-hmm. This is it for me. And, of course, obviously, uh, everything's been off to a great start here. You take on Anthony Taylor. Uh, Anthony, 1-1 one one in his career, uh, a very confident fighter. But uh, when it comes to his abilities inside the cage, what do you think about some of the, the skills that he possesses? What skills? There is none. Don't see any there. What do you think he does best, though? Nothing. Open his mouth. That's, that's what he is. He's good for nothing. He's good for opening his mouth. That's about it. He's an absolute dog. That's what I think of him. He's the cringiest, the most cringiest person I've ever seen in my life. He's, he's fake. He's not real. I'm real. I'm so much real, and I'm going in there to get kids this season. And that's all, that, that's all that matters. I'm not I'm not here to do all these stupid interviews or get on TV or or anything like that. I'm, I'm here to keep his head in, and I'm here to achieve my dreams and get a more win under Beltor, and, and that's that. But I'm going to send him packing. He's done. He's done after this. I remember at the pre-fight press conference, uh, you know, whether he was trying to sell a fight or anything along those lines, was that just kind of like he just gave you motivation that, you know, it's like, look, you want to give me extra motivation? Great. I mean, did did that rub? is that what rubbed you the wrong way about him? No, I'm, I I motivate myself. No, no one else motivates me. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's me that motivates myself, and and he just he's just setting himself up for a big fall. He knows he's su- superior, and that's why he's talking like this. He wants people to know his name after this, and he he wants to be known as the guy who was in fought James Gallagher. Do you know what I mean? And that's he knows in his own mind that's what he's coming for. He's coming here to get his head caved in and then be known as the guy who fought the greatest fighter in the world. That's 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 what he's coming here for. Does it bother you at all that he is trying to, you know, attempt to make a name off you? Uh no, nah, he's not. He's he's not good you know what I mean? I'm I'm making a name for myself. I'm not doing nothing for him. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm going in there and I'm gonna cave his head in enjoy my win in my home country and that's that's all it is it's nothing more nothing less is it one of those things that you want to beat him up for 15 minutes or is it uh no i'm trying to get out of there in and out as quick as possible uh it's definitely not going 15 minutes but i'm i'm definitely not just going in there and getting out as quick as like like uh obviously i'll go in and i'm going i'm going in and putting them away but i'm in no rush i'm going to make him I'm going in there and just display my skills and 
if it takes two minutes or three minutes, so then then it's, it's all it takes. You know what I mean? I'm going in there, I'm taking my time, and and I'm going to make him want out of there. I'm going to make him be going, no, this is too long. I can't take these elbows to the face. I can't take these kicks to the face. These shots are too much. And that's what's going to happen. He's going to be begging for his life. He's going to come, please, Shane, stop at me, please. <laughs> and I can't wait for that. Is it just one of those things that as we're talking, we're, we're uh, you know, se- seven, eight days out from the fight, is it just one of those things like you just want fight time, that you just want – fight night to get here so you can uh, take care of your business. Is is this kind of the worst part for you uh, of the training camp, the last week? Exactly. That's that's all it is. I'm just, I'm sitting waiting. I'm prepared. I'm I'm just waiting. Waiting to kill kill him. And that's that's all it is. I'm waiting. I'm going out here. And, and I'm not, I'm just, whoever's in front of me, I'm going to kill. And that's that. Doesn't matter who the fuck you are and he just happens to be the guy that's going to be in front of me, so he's getting killed. Have you started to think about what will be after this fight at all, or is the mindset of you're just worried about December 16th? Yeah, more fights and more wins. That's that's as far as I've thought about it. But I think I'm renegotiating my contract now and after this one, and, and then we'll just keep going from there and, and see what see what. See what happens. You know, I'm I'm young. I'm I'm very. I'm only 20 years old, and when he turned 20, there, and I'm I'm young in the game, and and uh, I'm looking forward to to this journey. How many fights are left on your current contract? Uh, well, I've only had one. I signed a four fight deal, and they want to renegotiate already. So that just shows that I'm bringing. You know what I mean? That just shows what 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 I'm about. So, so Bellator's already approached you about doing a new contract. It's not vice versa. Yeah, yeah. That's always a good thing when the promotion wants to keep you around. That, that's always a good thing. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't blame them. And of course, you'll be able to see James fight in the co-main event of Bellator 169 as he takes on Anthony Taylor on December the 16th in Dublin, Ireland. James, I appreciate the time. Good luck here, at Bellator 169. Thanks. Thanks very much. Appreciate it.